a Just One Right production. If this is indeed Anderson Silva's last fight, I want to say first congrats to Uriah Hall for the biggest win of his career. Anderson Silva, thank you for the fights and the memories. Whatever you do next, the fans will back you. Welcome fight fans to Through the Chainlink Fence, another MMA Pick'ems video. I will be picking out the winners of upcoming fights like any fan would. This week, the light heavies are headlining with Bellator MMA welcoming a UFC tough winner, and the UFC will be featuring two COVID-tested positive fighters for the first time. What? UFC is all about making history, even if it is picking at straws. So yes, two guys who tested positive COVID will be fighting for the first time. Speaking of a week of fights, how did it do last week? <laughs> Up first on Thursday, November the 5th, is Bellator 251, Manhoff vs. Anderson. <music> Melvin Manhoff will welcome Corey Anderson to Bellator MMA. With 32 wins, 29 by knockout and TKO, you'd think I'd side with a veteran fighting since December 1995. But, in truth... I'm going to side with Corey. He'll be looking to make the best of a first impression in his promotional debut and being the taller fighter at 6'3 versus 5'8 and having the reach advantage of 79 inches over 71, I feel his best course of action will be taking this fight to the ground or at the very least up against the fence where he can clinch and get some strikes in and control the action, possibly taking it from the mat there. More than likely, he will get a unanimous decision win. Winner, Corey Overtime, Anderson. Now with Bellator 251 out of the way, let's have a crack at this upcoming Saturday's UFC Fight Night 182. After failing to meet up on two separate occasions due to that curse we call Corona, these two heavy-handed Brazilians will square up at long last. At 41 years old, Teixeira is still competitive with the best in the division, but the big question is, how much will the year-long layoff from surgery and therapy affect the returning Santos? I reckon not that much as he is a tough son of a bitch and his fight with John Jones proved that. I suspect Tiago will start off this fight slow as, you know, it is his first fight back, but that being the case, the more experienced Glover will take advantage and try to hit Tiago hard and fast in the hopes of dropping him Finishing him off on the ground via strikes or submission. Winner, Glover Teixeira. Those are the fights and those are my picks to win. You reckon I'm right? Wrong? Perhaps here or there? Got your own picks and thoughts on the fights? Drop them in the comments down below. Thank you for looking through the chain link fence with me and here's to two great night of fights. And once again, thank you Spider for your time entertaining us.